I'm standing on your faithfulness. On your faithfulness. Hey, what's up? I'm, I am I am energy plus, and then plus it's a bad hair day. What's up, loved ones? It's a really bad hair day, you guys. I was braided, and then I just combed it, and I put some pin here, and then I had coffee. So normally my energy is on the roof plus this so bear with me but i missed you guys so i came how are you guys good i'm at the park by the way and it's raining it's sprinkling not actually raining so i had a late breakfast so i would walk. usually on saturdays i um i go to starbucks right so Hi Heaven, yay! Hi God. Yeah, it is, but it's it's messy. <laughs> it was braided. So on Saturdays I go to Starbucks. I did go to Starbucks, and then I came to the park because I I had a really big breakfast, so I wanted to walk, but it was raining, so I have to sit in the car. Well, it stops right after I I started the live show. It stopped raining. But I get to talk to you guys. So how are you? Let's just chat. There's no topic today. There's no topic. You can ask questions about life. And then we can discuss for a little bit. Cool? Cool? Thank you, Ababa Yi. Thank you. Or if you guys don't have any questions, I can tell you about my uh, dentist appointment. Thank you, Heaven Yi. Do you guys want to hear about my dentist appointment? It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. And uh, I think it would teach you something. Bashar Morsa, are you from Ethiopia? Yes. Take a wild guess. Uh. <laughs> so what happened was on Monday, last, last, last Monday, I think it was on the 24th, I went to the dentist office. Okay. So I went to the dentist office. You guys are not asking questions. So I'm going to tell you about the dentist office story. It's funny. It's really funny. But I think you will learn something from it. Thank you, Ababa Yi. You have a beautiful heart. King. That's a king's mentality. I love you. So I went to the dentist um, on Monday. What I needed to do was just cleaning. Just cleaning my teeth. And it's been about three years since I went to the dentist, right? This is a kind of crazy story. So I went to the dentist just just to clean it up. I haven't been there for the past three years. And if you guys have heard my testimony since that since then, because they said they couldn't correct it, right? I didn't fail or anything. My teeth wasn't like this. You guys know I've been here for what? For almost 15 years, right? On Facebook. <laughs> you guys know. So my teeth wasn't like this. It was after my um, my supernatural experience. I was dead and then come back to life. Like literally. I didn't have heartbeat and stuff. I already put in my testimony last year or two years ago. But I could do it in English too. There, it's on my Amarinya channel. Literally, I, I was dead. So I went to the dentist and they couldn't fix it. That's what happened. I didn't fail or anything. I did not fail <laughs> for my teeth to become like this, but it, there's a story. 
I had rest when I was maybe like 15, 14 ish to correct it because these two tooth were dented. So to correct them, I had brace. And then those two are the ones that broke. And then this one was right here. When my supernatural experience. Yeah, Jesus knocked me out because he knew I wouldn't believe. But anywho, I went to the dentist three years ago. And then they said that it was off the socket, this two, right? We're down. I'll tell you the whole testimony in English if you guys want. But in Amarinya, on my Amarinya channel, I put it a year or two ago. It happened in 2019. So I went to the dentist. They said they referred me three times in 2019 because they couldn't fix it. And I was just going to make my mom happy. I knew what happened. I saw the sun. I saw Jesus. And this is for me to believe. <laughs> this thing is for me to believe the miracle I saw. Because I, you know, I'm, I'm stubborn. So I went to the dentist. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't ready to tell you about this. I, I was just coming to say hi. But I'm going to tell you. So I went to the dentist. So three years I haven't been to the dentist. Right. So they said it was off the socket. And now... They had x-ray again. They took x-ray again. And then the dentist were like, oh, it went back to the socket. It's getting better. Can you believe? Without doing anything. So these two were down here. Okay. They were. And I didn't touch them. I didn't feel. Nothing happened. I died. And then come back to life. I know my tooth is here. These two are broken. Okay. And then I had a dream. I experienced the pain of Jesus. So she asked me again. Back then though, when they asked me what happened, I said, oh, I fell because I didn't know what to tell the doctor. How am I going to tell her I, I had a supernatural experience? I lied. And then I haven't eaten for 21 days. That's going to be another. That's, that's got to be another video, you guys. That's my supernatural experience. I haven't, I haven't eaten for 21 days. And it wasn't on purpose. And the amount of energy I had back then was out of this world. I was having visions. I was I was knowing things and stuff. It was crazy. But anyway, so I couldn't tell them. So I said, oh, I, I fell. But I told my mom and dad what happened and they didn't believe me. Anyway, so now she see me and then she asked me again. She asked me, what happened to your teeth? Last time, like three years ago, they were off the socket, but now they're back. And then they tried to give me pain medication. Because, I mean, imagine your teeth going down here. You'll be in pain, right? I wasn't in pain. I said, I'm not, I'm not taking any medication. So she tasted right now. She pushed it and stuff. Nothing hurts at all. Nothing. And she said it was back to the socket. And I did not do anything. The dentist said they couldn't do anything. They couldn't correct it. So, so now I am more, uh, I'm, I have less fear. So I, I don't give an ish if it's a doctor or a scientist or whatever. I'm, I'm going to tell them the truth. So I told her I had a supernatural experience. So she started with asking my name though. When I'm saying doctor, I'm saying dentist. Dentists are doctors, right? Because I hear my friends that are like surgeons and stuff. They don't call the dentist doctors. <laughs> it's crazy, but they're, they're, they're doctors. So the dentist, she started with like asking my name, like being friendly, right? What, what does your name mean? Um, and then uh, I told her it's from the Bible. If you read jo John chapter four, it's about the Samaritan woman. I was going to add, I lived her life and she says, give me the living water, but she wouldn't understand. <laughs> I did not say that. So <laughs> your sister is crazy. Yeah, I, I have no fear. I don't care what your credential is. I'm going to tell you the truth. So she asked me what my name means. I told her and she said, oh, does it, does it mean the good Samaritan? And I said, no. The Good Samaritan is another story. The guy who helped the the guy, the Good Samaritan that helped the guy that was, you know, they were like three, the priest, and then, you know, that story, right? So I said, no, 
So I started to explain. So my name means Jesus. <laughs> Jesus crowned her by the well. And then she was a, the Samaritan woman. And then she was like, oh, okay, 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 okay. As soon as I mentioned Jesus. Well, I thought I already told her. But she asked me. She wanted to know. So I started explaining. So she, she shut me up. <laughs> so I was like, okay. I mean, why, why would you ask me then? That's a fake customer service. And then after that, what happened was like, oh, uh, what are you here for? I said, oh, I just want to clean my teeth. And then she said, oh, your, your teeth doesn't even need cleaning. I said, okay. I was so proud of myself because I floss every day. I clean with my mafaka every day. Every day. I floss every day. And then I swish with my uh, myrrh, which is Kirby, every day. So I was surprised when, I mean, a dentist saying that is good. And then I said, okay. And then she started, um, she started saying like, oh, you need um, a deep cleaning. There might be some bacteria in your gum. I was like, uh, I, I'm, I'm not doing deep cleaning right now because I did it years back. It was the worst experience I had with deep cleaning. And she didn't tell me the uh, side effects. There are a lot of side effects of the deep cleaning, right? Luckily, I have dentist friends. So there, there is side effects of deep cleaning. So I said, uh, I prefer not to. I just want to clean my teeth, just the normal cleaning. And she was like, oh, your teeth doesn't even need cleaning. And then she started suggesting products, not products, like services, right? And then she was like, oh, this two teeth, this one, this one, these are my miracle teeth. My miracle. Even when some of you guys say, oh, you need to fix your teeth, I block. I swear to God, I block those people who say you need to correct your teeth. Because this is a reminder from the greatest love story of my life. My Jesus. So I don't want to correct them. So she said, oh, we can correct this too, you know? We can make them like it never happened. And I'm like, doctor, I'm not interested. I'm okay. I just want it just cleaning. And then she was so upset. She said she's refusing every treatment. Is correcting your teeth a treatment? I was so patient, you guys. This is not, this is not healthcare. This is marketing. I feel like I was on sale, to be honest with you. And she was so upset. And I, I was really patient. I was like, thank you, doctor. Okay, doctor. You know, just not trying to touch the ego. <laughs> I was like, thank you, doctor. Yeah, these two are, uh, we can fix them. And I said, no, doctor, thank you. I'm okay. Uh, you need deep cleaning. And I'll be okay, doctor. I just wanted the, just the normal cleaning today. She was off when I said no to correcting my teeth. Is that, is that a treatment, you guys? That's like uh, co cosmetics, right? And she was upset and then she left me there and she, 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 she went and her assistant was like, okay, are you, I asked her assistant, I was like, okay, so are you guys gonna clean my teeth today? And she said, no, we are uh, sending a request to your insurance. I mean, it, it, it's not about the money. It's covered by my insurance. But do I have a choice? Can I choose? This is my teeth. It's my health. It's mine. So she, she was like, Oh, you, you, you're refusing every service. Okay. So can I just clean it and, you know, take the risk? Just, just the normal cleaning. That's all I need. And they were like, Oh, your teeth is clean already. Then why do I need deep cleaning? Because I had a bad experience with deep cleaning. And then 
I couldn't hold it anymore. I was so upset, you guys. But then I was just calling the name of Jesus. I was like, Jesus, Jesus, be with me. Jesus, Jesus. And then I just, so, so the, her assistant, I asked her assistant if she can just do just the normal cleaning. And then her assistant was like, no. Can you guys believe it? She said, no. <laughs> Unless... I'm accepting the treatment to correct my teeth to the deep cleaning. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do anything. If you, if you guys like, is there a dentist here? Is that, is that acceptable? I know she knows way more than me about teeth, about health, about everything. She's graduated. She's educated. I know. But can I wait? Can she give me like, this is a side effect. This is what happens. This is this, this is not. Then I choose. There were a few days, she said no. And I got up from my seat. You know, like don't send anything to my insurance. Don't charge them for anything. They're just trying to make money. This is so disappointing, you guys. So I just got up and I said, you know what? Thank you so much. I was so polite. Even I was really upset. My God, this isn't me. <laughs> I said, you know what? Thank you so much. But I'm not going to need deep cleaning. Don't send anything to my insurance. I'm just going to go home. If you guys are not going to do my cleaning. I got my purse. I left. But before that though, I was so grateful. Thankful. I was thanking my Lord because I was filling out the forms. And the form, as you, as you guys know, like it's a whole page, right? Every disease, everything was a no. No, 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 knock on wood. As healthy as a horse. So far, so good. <laughs> knock on wood. So that was the highlight of my visit. I went there like 25 minutes early. So I was filling out a form. I was so grateful that I did not have any health issue when i was filling out the form i was like thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord. no high blood pressure no cholesterol no heart problem no asthma no every single thing no this is too much i know mercy that's what i'm saying and then she refused to clean my teeth but i was talking to my god i was so thankful about my health i have nothing wrong in me So that was the highlight of my visit, saying no to every question, like a page full of diseases. And yeah, it, it's crazy. Which specialized are you? What do you mean? I'm not a doctor. I'm not, a, I'm just a healthy person that knows that I can choose what to do with my teeth. And I, I don't want to correct it. I do not. And like I said, if somebody here says, oh, you look like this, correct your teeth, I block them right away. I swear to God. Why don't you fix your heart? That's what I say now. I say it out loud. When I block people, I say it out loud. Why don't you fix your heart and then come back? Block. God bless you and then block. Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't I don't want to have the tooth that I have three years ago. It was like straight. And you guys, you guys know, you guys know me for years. <laughs> I don't have to explain it. Right now, when I smile, I think of my Jesus every single day. The love that was poured on me, and I don't expect anyone to understand. But do not tell me to fix it. I don't want to fix what God gave me. This is my gift. This is, uh, like if, 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 if it's, if I lose all teeth, then and I don't, I don't, I can't chew. I don't know. I might, you know what I mean? I got to chew. <laughs> I don't know. But right now, yeah, don't tell me to correct it. 
You can suggest, but can't force me. I'm a child of the king of kings. And so now I think I'm going to stop going to the doctor. <laughs> uh, yeah. They give me Jay. Somebody ignore them. No, no, I'm not going to ignore them. I'm going to block them. I, I, not, I, 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 it's good for my, my mental health. You know, as I told you, as you guys know, I've been here for about <laughs> uh, maybe 15, 16 years, maybe 15, 14 years. I don't know. I'm here. Could you take off your glasses? No, Ahmed, yeah, I wouldn't. Okay, what about? Yeah. So, yeah, Samrije, don't ignore, don't ignore. When something is not right, Say it or take action about it. It's good for your mental health. You're not Jesus. Okay? We got limits. Boundaries. It doesn't matter where you go. So if a doctor tells you to do something, they can suggest, but it's your health. It's your body. Thank you, Rahelie. And then when, when they're like prescribing anything, just ask another doctor. Luckily, I have friends that are doctors. My brother is a doctor. I could just call my big bro and then ask him. Oh, Helena. God bless you, Mama. I love you guys. I love you so much. You guys inspire me so much. Mel Melke. You guys are full of love. Sometimes I'm jealous of you. Sometimes I'm really jealous of you. Because you guys are so full of love. Yeah, I don't do anything for you. But yet, you're pouring your love. You come in here. Sharing your valuable time with me. I appreciate it. And... I hope I'm inspiring you too. Usually, I do me, <laughs> and then I hope people are inspired. So yeah, ask, ask somebody. So me, whenever something a doctor tells me something, I, I'm calling my big brother. Yeah, for another cons consultation. I don't trust anyone. Like I said, I don't. I don't even trust myself. I only trust Jesus. Oh, we're family. We're family in Jesus, in God. We're all family, Mari. Yeah, are you on TikTok? No. Well, I, I am on TikTok, but I don't post anything. I, I just signed up for my cousin. Just to comment on my cousin's uh, post. But I, I don't really go on TikTok. Maybe like once a month or something. Yeah. I'm not active on TikTok if that's what you're uh, saying. But yeah, you guys. So I hope this inspires you. Stand up for yourself, okay? Stand. Nobody cares about you like you do. Okay? I know there are a lot of great doctors out there. That cares, great nurses, great doctors, great dentists that care about their patients so much. But at the same time, there are a lot that are concerned just about making money. Okay. Thank you, you What is your profession? If you can cook, I don't have profession. I'm just a human being. I'm a I'm a a daughter of the King of Kings. The da a daughter of the King of Kings, and I don't have set profession. I do a lot of things. I do marketing, consultation. I can do accounting. Uh, what else? Editing, videography. Uh life coaching what else do i do cook job i mean 
Oh, I do my own job. Like with this, it was, was what I'm, I was telling you. But before that, I was a, a personal a business, business banking specialist. And then after that, I was a pharmacy technician. Now I work for myself. How I make money, if that's your question. Facebook pays me. Facebook pays me a lot of money. We're doing this. <laughs> they just started. But yeah, a lot. Facebook pays a lot of money. Well, it was during the bonus program stuff that Facebook was paying uh, really, really good money. Thank you, Kukuye. Yeah. So I, I don't really like uh, boxes in a way like if my profession, if I, for example, like if I go to medical school and then I graduate and then I become a doctor and then somehow I want it to change. I don't, I don't want to be stuck there. Helena, I think I read three of your messages. <laughs> uh, are you seeking attention like me? You are? You're like my sister. So anyway, yeah, I, um, it was hard. The transition was hard to, from, from getting hired at a job to starting your own business. It was really hard. And then, but now uh, it's not, it's no more. It's, it is hard being your own boss, you guys. It is hard minding your mind. It is hard uh saying no sit down you gotta work yeah there are a lot of messages helena i gotta respond to everybody i responded to two of your messages already <laughs> uh, it's just gonna be me and you talking do you marry me doug monte no i i do not marry you no Yeah, Kukuye, knowing yourself is scary. Yes, that's why we look for entertainment. That's why we focus on entertainment, making ourselves feel really good, going shopping, buying car, buying house, because we're running from ourselves. It is scary, but once you do, once you know yourself, well, you can't fully know yourself. I don't know myself fully. Only God knows me. Because I learn something new every single day about myself. But you could just do, like, what we do is, like, we know more about people that we know about ourselves. That's why we gossip. That's why we are in, like, performing or doing the seven deadly sins. Right? Gluttony, wrath, blah, blah, the seven ones. You guys know them, right? So we know more about people. That's why the celebrity gossips are more. That's why gossiping channels have more views. I don't want to do sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Just know yourself. Look at yourself as how Jesus looks at you. With all your mud and dust, he loves you. So do that. Look at yourself as how you see your children. And then talk to you. Forgive yourself. The hardest is when you do something to others. That's when it's hardest to forgive yourself. What you do to others. So you just got to be careful on that. You got to be careful on how you treat people. If that is the hardest. I swear to you. But what you do to yourself would be easier to forgive. But I, I believe that as the base for, to know yourself is just go dip, dip, go dip, sit down by yourself for like at least two hours a day. Talk to God, tell him what happened. Go deep into your childhood. The memories that you don't want to revisit, go through it. It's going to be hell. It's going to be hell, I swear. But once you go through it, you just got to go through the tunnel. And yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, you become a blessing, a really keep shining. Amen. Yes, I'm a child of the king of kings. I'm a child of the king of kings. I'm a child of the king of kings. Hey, okay, I gotta go, guys. I'm gonna take my walk. I'm at the park, so I'm gonna take my walk and then I gotta go work on my website. I gotta finish my website today, and then uh, you know, it's on uh, maintenance mode, right? So, yeah. Oh, I make money on my website, too. So, if you guys are wondering, I make money on Facebook website. I do a uh, marketing consultation. And then I have another thing, which I'm going to tell you when the time comes. Uh, and then I have the merch website. I make money on that one. And I make money on Amazon. I'm, I'm a boss lady. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh, yeah, so when the husband comes, he doesn't work full eight. He doesn't work. He doesn't have to work full eight hours. I got him. You know what I mean? Yeah, we both don't have to wait to work full eight hours. We enjoy each other most of the time. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. So if you guys want ideas, uh, what happened? What what you can do? There are a lot of ideas online, but the reason why I don't tell you guys is because I want it to come from the inside. What is, what is your purpose? What do you want it? What are you good at? I know that every single one of you are great at something. So the more you know yourself, the more you stop trying to know about people. Whether they got married, they have kids, they divorced, they got that, they changed clothes, they got bought a car, they bought a house, blah, 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 blah. None of your business, dog. Just the minute you start minding your business, give two hours a day in the morning when your brain is on theta state, which is easier to program your brain, talk to your father, do this for seven days, wake up in the morning. I wake up at three now, but I used to wake up at five thirty ish, sometimes at four. But that is when when the energy is really everybody's asleep. Energy matters. I play the um a mahlit. It, it it is chant. So I do my meditation in the morning when your brain is on theta state. Talk to your father then. Reprogram your mind. So I can challenge you. Let me challenge you. Listen to gospel songs for 30 days. This is my challenge for you. I challenge my atheist friend and then his life has changed. Listen to gospel songs for 30 days. Nothing else. Just gospel songs in your car. Gospel. It's going to be boring at first for like the first seven days. But then... Um, I prefer English gospel songs, to be honest with you, because they taught me a lot about the Bible. Most of the time, uh, their lyrics is for either from Psalm or there's a story in the Bible and their really lyrics. Uh, the Amarinya ones are just a personal connection ish. You know, I did bad. Forgive me. I did this. Blah, blah and stuff. But then what I found in the English uh, gospel songs are. Uh, the Bible. Seriously. So, yeah, I challenge you. Challenge you. I want to work on Amazon. I don't work for Amazon. I just have the store and then I link product for you guys. It doesn't really pay that much, but it's growing now. It's, it's growing because I don't put just expensive stuff that I don't use. I only put the things that, that I use that would help you guys. But I don't do it for profit. You know? I don't I, I don't put anything that I would have made a lot of money if I do that. But I already have wealth. My cup runneth over. My blessing. The less money, it doesn't matter how much money I get, it's blessed by Jesus. So I'm not thirsty for money. I'm not thirsty for love. I'm not thirsty for attention anymore. Because I got the living water. 
Hey, hey, hey. Jesus, I love you, Lord. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Yeah, I wish you the living water for those who don't have it, for those who are searching for love, for those who are thirsty. I love you. I love you. For some light and love and everything in life. Everything in life is God. Once you get that, no longer thirsty. Yeah, you don't go search for love. You give love. That's what you become. And that's what you are. You're full of love. And when you know it, you start giving love. You don't, you don't really go for attention. You are there to serve. And money, it doesn't really matter anymore. I mean, we got to get money to live. But you don't do it by selling your soul. If it's missing the mark, you would be like, no, I don't need that money. Because I am thirsty. I got Jesus. I got the living water. Hey. Hey. Okay, you guys, I got to go. <laughs> keep the love you got from above. Amen. Yeah, keep praying, you guys. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you. 30 days gospel songs. 30 days waking up. At 5 o'clock in the morning, 30 days, giving yourself two hours a day, sitting down, talking to yourself. Okay? No, anybody's life is none of your business. Stop clicking on the clickbait. Like, oh, this, this, do that. Uh, so-and-so got this. So-and-so, oh, I bought a house. Oh, that's a distraction, you guys. Oh, the new makeup, the new shoe set. Da -da 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 -da. The new car, the new beautiful wife, <laughs> the new rich husband, that's a distraction. That's a dis 30 days challenge. The first seven days are going to be the most boring days. And then you will tell yourself, I'm like, shit, I wasted all my time instead of doing this. Your hair is growing. Yeah, I put Kabe on it. And then, yeah, hair grows, face. Uh, your health is not only what you eat or it's not only what you put. It's the peace of mind that you have inside. That's the most anti-aging you can have. That's the most hair growth. I mean, I'm not saying that everybody's hair is full and growing faster, but you wouldn't give a shit if it doesn't. Please talk about Jesus. I could talk about Jesus all day, every day. Every single day. Okay, yeah, well, I'm going to save this video and I, don't, I would listen. Is that a gospel song? I will anymore. So, yeah, at first it was boring to listen to gospel songs, but now it is not. Now I can't listen to anything else <laughs> except for a gospel song. If I go to my friends and they play in the car, I'm okay. I don't really care. But... I only listen to gospel songs and the thing that would make me love a man or turn me on is if a man is talking about Jesus more than he talks about me. Oh, let me tell you a story. I went on a date last time. I, I'm going on a, on dates now. I'm open. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking and then he said oh I, I said i want a man who loves jesus more than me right and then the guy was like oh you're not gonna get jealous i'm like okay that was the the red flag of all red flags you being jealous of jesus that's the devil right remember the devil power so i felt like the devil was talking to me i'm like okay this is not gonna work next <laughs> and that's why i'm still single you guys yeah i mean he's he's a nice guy he's awesome but nowadays relationship relationships are based on that right right you guys
फिर लेना ये आई डोंट थिंक ही इज दैट क्रेजी इट्स नॉर्मल इट्स नॉर्मल टू से oh my wife is my everything my husband is my everything they see each other as god he's her he's he is her jesus she's his jesus i don't want that i want my jesus <laughs> and if a man doesn't love jesus more than me i don't want him because the benefit is for me if a man loves jesus imagine what kind of king he would be for you you know what i mean he wouldn't touch you who don't abuse you he verbally anything he would be governed by the law of jesus if he loves jesus more than you but if you are his jesus if you are his everything then he wants you to crucify for him ladies listen <laughs> That's why women are going nuts. Cuz you all you were told to be their Jesus. <laughs> uh, emotionally. Yeah. We not Jesus. But anyway, I went to a different topic, you guys. But I hope this makes sense to you. And stay single like your sister. We got Jesus. We don't know when we're going to die. So yeah, I I I don't want Jesus. I already have Jesus. I just want a human being who can pray for with me and who can have uh you definitely if he believes in Jesus he definitely treats you as a queen so that advantage Yeah, Helena, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But if you are his Jesus and then you make a mistake. Oh my god. Because you're supposed to be perfect. You know what I mean? Musa Masfan thank you for talking about my pleasure. <laughs> It's a privilege to talk about Jesus. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can say it all day every day. Jesus. And then for for a, for a man the same thing. If she loves Jesus more than you, that's the woman that you want. But if she is expecting you to be Jesus, if she says you are my everything, then you make something you make a mistake oh boy oh boy but if she loves jesus more if she loves jesus more than you the rate for a divorce would decrease by like a lot because you would be forgiving each other that's what all jesus is all about sacrifice there would be sacrifice more your house would be built on the rock But in this world the road is narrow and long there are not a lot of people that that walks through that that road I need to share you on my personal thing I list my auntie on my yesterday I feel so broken please say something huh? pray Helena you pray my my love Amen Yeah personal relationship with Jesus like like you have a personal relationship with your mom and dad right so Jesus would be your father your mother your heir your son your moon <laughs> that's what he is to me my husband the kids that i don't have the husband that i don't have my brother my sister should i continue my best friend everything is Jesus to me If you or she doesn't know Jesus that means they don't know what love means in the first place. Exactly, Musaye. Exactly. Exactly. But it is tricky. I see it in myself too. The moment I I uh introduce myself or, or I go out on a date, I see myself trying to go to the other world. Because we're we're not desperate. but we're programmed that oh you have to live with a man you have to get married 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 right so that programming is still here if you're not conscious about it so the minute you find a man or a woman you can forget Jesus easily and that is when the disaster happens and when you see a lot of love stories they start with chasing gain oh the man has to hunt the feminine energy got to do this got to do no human things 
there are there are like men that have feminine energies there are women that have masculine energies it's just like your who you comp compatible with one size doesn't fit all, everybody that's why people are a lot of people are changing their their genders because we're like setting oh no a female got to do this oh no a man got to do this no no so we're forcing people without knowing to change their genders yes i said it yes i said it <laughs> so yeah there's no such thing a man can grow his hair a woman can shave her head you know what i mean but anyway we're on another topic oh <laughs> guys but i'm glad i came though i am so glad i came i'm glad i talked to you I am so happy that I get to talk to you. Even if there were like 10 people out of like the 400,000, are you? Or 500,000? I think 500,000. Is it? Yeah. But yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Since I changed the uh, niche of the channel, the views are less because I'm starting as new all over again. And then I changed the language, right? So, but a lot of people are coming now. And I. I'm not regretting taking the chances of changing my niche into something that's valuable to my fellow human beings. So yeah, even one person online, I love it. It's not the numbers, you guys. Remember, it's one out of the 99. My father taught me. If I was worried about numbers, then I would have done more of the things that would get views. You know, so I appreciate all 42 people of you. God bless you. You guys mean millions to me. May your generation be blessed, be a blessing to the world. May you be fruitful in anything that you do. I love you so much. So 30 days challenge. Don't forget. I'm going to ask you next time I'm coming online and then going to report. 30 days challenge. No listening to gossip. Even, even on, on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, no listening to gossip. Okay. I won't see you, but Jesus will. <laughs> okay. No listening to gossip. Read some books for 30 days. N um, gospel songs. You can be Orthodox. You can be Protestant. Any, any, any religion. Listen to the gospel songs. Okay. Read some book for 30 days. It's not easy. But an atheist did it. A, a man who doesn't believe in God did it. You guys believe in God and you're not going to do it. That's going to be crazy. All right. 30 days challenge start today. Bye. I love you.